The night draped over the town like a funeral shroud as I found myself standing before an ancient curiosity shop. The rumored dwelling of the enigmatic doll maker. Halloween was approaching, and tales of the cursed dolls he crafted had both intrigued and terrified the locals. Stealing my nerves, I pushed open the creaking door, the scent of aged wood and mystery engulfing me. The shop was a labyrinth of forgotten treasures, each item whispering tales of the past. But my attention was drawn to a collection of dolls, their glassy eyes seeming to follow my every move. The doll maker, a shadowy figure with features obscured by a wide-brimmed hat, emerged from the gloom. He spoke in hushed tones, offering me a doll that purportedly held a piece of its creator's dark magic. Skeptical yet curious, I accepted the gift, unaware that my decision would unravel a nightmarish Halloween. As I placed the doll in my home, an unsettling energy permeated the air. Strange occurrences became a nightly routine. The distant echo of children's laughter, the flickering of lights, and the inexplicable rearrangement of belongings. The doll, once an inanimate creation, now seemed like a vessel for something otherworldly. On Halloween night, the atmosphere grew charged with an eerie electricity. The doll's eyes gleamed with an unnatural luminosity and a spectral whispering filled the room. I felt a presence watching, a malevolent force that transcended the realm of the living. The night wore on and the doll's influence intensified. Jump scares manifested in the form of ghostly apparitions, their hollow eyes fixated on me. The air grew thick with a palpable malevolence as the doll maker's curse unfolded its sinister plot. In a bone-chilling twist, the dolls multiplied, each one harboring a piece of my essence. I realized I had unwittingly become a puppet in the doll maker's grand design, an intricate weaving of curses that bound me to an eternity of spectral servitude. Desperation took hold as I tried to sever the supernatural connection, but the dolls held a sinister sway over me. The bone-chilling plot twist reached its crescendo when I gazed into a cracked mirror and saw not my own reflection, but a lifeless doll, my soul imprisoned in its glassy eyes. The doll maker's curse had transcended the boundaries of mortality, transforming me into one of his creations. As the clock struck midnight, the dolls came alive, their porcelain limbs moving with an unsettling grace. I had become part of the cursate collection, destined to haunt the shop's shadowy corners for all eternity. The Halloween night, which had begun as a quest for the mysterious, ended with a realization more horrifying than any ghost story. The dollmaker's curse had claimed me, and I was condemned to spend every Halloween as a spectral plaything, trapped in the macabre dance of the cursed dolls. Did that story send shivers down your spine? The haunting tales from the crypt are just the beginning, and we have more bone-chilling stories waiting for you. If you've dared to wander into our crypt, ensure you don't miss out on the upcoming nightmares. Hit that subscribe button now and join our community of thrill seekers. Click that subscribe button and become a part of the Haunting Crypt Chronicles family. The shadows await your presence. Subscribe now, and let the haunting continue.